Okay, so let's see another example. So let's say that this is the amplifier that we are trying to actually find its gain. And uh, I know that it's an amplifier. It's a common emitter with emitter degeneration. Why common emitter? Because input is connected to the base, output is connected to collector, and I have a resistor in the emitter. Okay, uh, you might think, well, what about this guy? Well, nothing is important about that guy because it's not really, it's, it's, it's as important as a resistor, right? Because it's my signal is going from the base to the collector. It's not really passing through this transistor. So I don't really care too much about that transistor. You're going to see how much I care about that transistor. Okay. Now, uh, let's actually draw the small signal. And then in the end, I'm going to show you that like we really didn't need to do that. So if I want to draw the small signal, I have the VN at the input to ground. I have the R pi and the V pi. And the emitter is connected to the resistor and then to ground. And I have my GM V pi here. And then that is connected to some RC. For now, we, as I said before, we're going to ignore R0, no early effect. Um, and V out is really here. How about the second transistor? Well, that's connected to the emitter. So from here, I'm going to have another RPi. I'm going to call it RPi2. So this is going to be RPi1, VP1, GM1, VP1, or VPi1. And then I have RPi2, and then I have... This uh, collector is connected to ground, and I have GM2, VPi2, and here I have ground, because the emitter of Q2 is connected to ground. And that's my small signal model. Now, what is the gain? Well, Vout is, is equal to um, this current times RC, so it's going to be I, let's call this IX, IXRC, and that's equal to negative GM v pi 1 rc and then because it's an emitter uh, it's basically it's a common emitter with emitter degeneration i know the gain is going to be this so i know the gain is going to be equal to v out over v in is going to be equal to negative rc over 1 over gm plus whatever resistance that they have at the emitter right so i can see that at the collector i only have rc so i just have to put rc here right but at the emitter i have re you see it here and then in parallel with that re that's the reason i drew this small signal model i can see that re and this r pi 2 are in parallel indeed because at this node well one end of these two resistors is connected to this node which is also this node and the other end is connected to ground here or here so because our our e is in parallel with our pi 2 then i have i have i can actually write here r e in parallel with our pi 2 and that's my game i don't i didn't i don't need to write any of these kvls like imagine if i wanted to write the kvl for this for this big circuit it would have taken like i don't know 15 minutes 20 minutes to actually write the kvl and find the expression and i might have there was a good chance that i might have actually made mistakes but by making observations i didn't really need to actually do this and that's that's the way i want you guys to actually analyze electronic circuits there's a very big difference between analyzing electronic circuits and electrical circuits with electrical circuits every new circuit is a new circuit you have to deal with it from scratch but with electronic circuits, we know the gain or we know the input impedance for a known circuit that is very similar to the circuit that we are dealing with. So we try to actually somehow relate them to each other and then try to change the gain expression or our in expression or our out expression uh, so that we basically for, for this for this new circuit. OK, that's why I told you that I don't need I didn't really need to actually draw this a small signal model. I could have written this gain expression from the get-go, from the beginning. I knew that all the resistors, just by looking at the original circuit, I could looking at this, I can see that all the resistors connected to the collector are just basically this RC. And then all the resistors connected to the emitter are RE, 
in parallel with whatever I see looking into this Q2, which is R pi 2, right? Because I, remember that I summarized the, the resistance looking into the base, looking into the emitter, and looking into the collector. That's why it, and that's why that was important. Because now looking into the base, I know that I'm going to see R pi. I don't really need to actually analyze this part of my circuit. I don't really need to actually draw this big small signal circuit here, right? All I need to do is that, well, I know that looking into here is R pi 2, so and that R pi 2 is in parallel with, um, so basically what I'm saying is that I'm going to replace all of this with just resi one resistor to ground that is equal to R pi 2. That's what I mean by looking into somewhere I see that resistance. It means the resistance to ground that can be uh, basically that that the circuit can be replaced with it. So the circuit inside this this contour is actually replaced with this R pi two. Okay. Now, and and using that, I can actually find the gain easily. Okay. So this is another example. We saw a two stage amplifier in the previous slide where it had some resistance, some some transistor connected to the R out. Now you saw that that resist that that transistor could be connected to the emitter and then. Um, you can still use the gain expression and find the new gain expression, okay?